Welcome back to another C++ video. And today we're going to be writing a program that asks the user for a number, and then we're going to ask the user for another number to divide the first number by. And we're going to divide the first number three times. So if they answer 1,000 for the first number, and then 2 for the second number, uh, we're going to have 500 because 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. And then we're going to divide 500 by 2, which would be 250. And then 250 divided by 2, which would be 125. So let's actually start coding it up. So first we're going to need uh, two integer variables. We could have integer, uh, let's name it user number. User number. And then we need another integer. This is going to be the number they enter to divide user number by. We'll just call it div, just short for division. Okay. So now we need user input in those variables. We could do C, uh, CN and we could put user number in there. And then the same thing for div. So if we were to run this program, it would have just asked us for two numbers, which we're really not doing anything with. So let's actually do something with them. So we could say user num equals user num divided by div. So this may look a little funny, but in programming, in programming this works. So say they enter 1,000 for user num and 2 for div. So we're going to have 1,000 in here, and we're going to divide it by 2, which would be the div variable. And then 500 will be stored inside of user num. So we could just print that. We could do C out, and then we could put user number in there. And then we'll just add a little space to it, just so the numbers aren't like uh, clumped up. Okay. So if we were to run this, uh, let, let's do one more. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's do it one more time so we can actually see the output. You know, what, let's just finish the program. So what I did. Because this uh, this line of code is going to get the 1,000 and divided by 2, which would give us a 500. And then I just literally copy and pasted it. This line of code would have the 500 stored in here. So we'll do 500 divided by 2, which would store 250 inside of user number. We'll just print it. And then this line of code would have 250 in there. So we'd have 250 divided by div, which would be the 2. And then we would just print the 125. So let's run the C++ program and let's see what we get. Okay, so it's asking us for like a... For a number, we could do one thousand, like in the, like in the sample, and then we could do two, and then we'll have five hundred, two fifty, and then one twenty-five. And if this helped you at all, leave a like and subscribe, and put the code back on the screen. So if we could zoom it out a little bit, so we get the whole thing. Okay. If this helped you at all, leave a like and subscribe.